Hey, happy Saturday, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys get to get outside and enjoy the sun, especially if you're here in Baltimore, Maryland. Now, let's see what the energy is going to be like for y'all today, okay? So, hopefully it's going to be a good goddamn day, y'all. Set the intentions of it being a good goddamn day, okay? Let's see. Don't forget, flip these rolls. Take what you need, leave what you don't need. Use the spirit of discernment. Also hit the like button, subscribe button. Definitely appreciate you guys. Look, seven chakra in the reverse. This could be past energy, y'all. Somebody's blocking their intuition. Um, tell me what I need to see. Three of cups. The look, I said three of cups. The community card comes out, but this is like the three of cups in traditional tarot. Here go to seven chakra, okay? So when it comes to even being sociable, your soul tribe, your friends, or somebody you could be dealing with, you may not be, you may rather be alone right now, right? But I feel like this is because it's something here that is definitely blocking you in your intuition here. Um, but I'm gonna pull, we're gonna see what that's about, right? Because if you're blocking your intuition, shit, you have no clue, right? <laughs> so let me see. You just know something ain't right. All right, the first chakra comes in the reverse. So you may not feel stable. All right, something makes you feel off balance. Um, definitely, like I said earlier, get outside, get into nature, move your body so that you can ground yourself. Okay, do some grounding exercises. You can look on YouTube and literally pull up some stuff okay the, the magical world of google right but however let's see what the seven chakra reverse is really saying here what is my collective block in their intuition about you could be disconnected from spirit some kind of way because of your circumstances the world so it's something that you want to you want to achieve you have certain goals i'm definitely feeling like right and you're looking for your efforts to pay off with something here with my cards i'm like where is my where is my dad on tarot? Right, but you're looking to like see your efforts pay off in something, but you feel it's like you feel like you're missing something or something is just not closing out. Like, don't you know how when you go through certain cycles, it feels like it's like one of these never ending cycles. And instead of things getting better and you starting to see things come to completion in a good way right you're not you're seeing delays um and this right there could be definitely making you feel off balance okay it's making you feel off balance and tell me what i need to do yeah eight of cups so you're not sure so since this is you're feeling this way, you're not sure. Like you know, you gotta keep moving towards your high purpose in life, right? You know, you gotta keep you know leave the cups behind that are no longer serving you, or leave whatever makes you feel dissatisfied. But at the same time, it's like something here is causing you to kind of like you're not certain. Like should I do this? What should I do? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I try one more time? Um, and you're missing the downloads. So let's see. When uh, the uh, seven chakra comes in reverse, it says this card indicates a block to your own intuition and to the potential help and power from the spirit world. Perhaps you fear opening up to the side of your life or perhaps it's just something that seems foreign or unrealistic. Either way, it's time to awaken to the beauty and power of this realm. See your crown chakra spinning in a beautiful violet or white light and call upon Uriel's passion and power to help bring this connection into being. Once you're open to the incredible peace and power that spirit can bring you, your life will never be the same. So let's affirm this. My seventh chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state. Love and inspiration from spirit and my own intuition flow fully to me now. Okay, so remember again, if this ain't your energy, this is somebody that you're connected to who's having trouble to be able to really hear what spirit is saying, right? It's it's decisions that have to be made, major life changing decisions, all right? Because before you enter into this whole new phase, which a lot of us are already in it, um, is is you gotta let go of some things. So let's just basically see here with this community card in the reverse, what 
we are being told to do, right? Tell me about the community card in reverse. And I always say we y'all because I'm talking about us all as a whole, as a collective. Um, Nine of Wands comes out and the King of Swords in the reverse. So you're dealing with someone who either they could be kind of manipulative, they could lack structure, they may not use their head, right? They may not do things honestly, whatever it is. It's like this person is not clear in their thinking, okay? And um, I'm definitely feeling a sense of some type of stubbornness or you could be in a one-sided situation or someone literally just refusing to compromise here with you in this situation, okay? And you've been really like standing tall and being resilient against all of the adversity that has been coming at you from everything that's going on with this i do feel like it could be a lot of drama all right a lot of drama external drama internal drama all types of stuff and i feel like you definitely have been very resilient to this but for some reason now you, you may just be tired because you don't feel safe you don't feel stable so now i feel like you just like you know you're having this feeling of wanting to retreat. I feel like you may want to withdraw your energy some kind of way. Yeah, the Nine of Wands is coming out again. It could be stubbornness or, or, or defensiveness. Show me what I need to see about the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> because it's a one-sided relationship. Whatever this is that's going on. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles comes through, Ten of Pentacles upright. So when it comes to someone offering you something that will lead to your legacy with this Knight of Pentacles, it's like this person is very stubborn. And they're moving slow. Okay, this even could be you. You may even feel like, you know... I'm going to take my time. I ain't going to take no risk with this. I'm I'm just worried about creating this comfortable lifestyle for myself. You know, that's what my focus is for my long term. Um, and it, it's just taking too long. You know, it's like whatever is happening around you, it's taking too long for you to get to this Ten of Pentacles. So you may be feeling a little bit impatient, especially because you definitely want to be able to feel stable. You want to feel grounded and you don't feel that way. So because of that, it's like, okay, I don't want to celebrate. I don't want to go out. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, go party. I don't want to do this because I don't feel stable. I don't feel like I have enough, right? I don't want to connect with people because emotionally or mentally, you know, I'm tired. I'm depleted. You're blocking your intuition. That's why. Okay. So all of those feelings that you're feeling is because here with this Ten of Pentacles, this is what you desire for yourself. This is everything. This is down to being wealthy, um, financially stable. Um, even if you're with someone, like you want to be a financially stable couple. You want to be able to have something that's balanced emotionally and materially, right? So this is everything that you are looking to obtain, but it's taking a long time or someone that you're connected to is taking a long time with doing that. Okay, so... <clears throat> Tell me what I need to see. I hear you, my spirit team. I just, I, it's like, it's a lot going on. Three of Wands comes out in an upright position. It's a lot going on here. You're ready to create a stable foundation for yourself. Like, this is what you want. Some of you are like, all right, I got the stable foundation. I'm ready to take it to the next stage in this relationship that I got with this person. Whatever it is, it's like you want to see progress. And I feel like you're not seeing the progress that you think you should be seeing at this time. Okay. Um, it's slow. It's slow. It's steady progress. Right. But it's frustrating. Because there's obstacles and there's delays and it's just like you feel like, hey, I've been doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm working in alignment with the universe. I'm working on myself. I'm I'm releasing things. And uh, yeah, <laughs> why I keep running into these obstacles? Why are there so many delays? Like what is happening? Right. 
you're working on trying to build some stuff here and it seems like it's just taking longer and longer for you to get to your ten of pentacles Mm -hmm. the world card and it doesn't make you feel safe it's in a reverse this is the ending of a cycle okay and at the end of every cycle you get a test right <laughs> it's one of those tests that kind of like feel like it sets you back like 100% like what the fuck like I thought I was over this right <laughs> but then you end up getting hit with it and sometimes we do fail it because our emotions be so overwhelmed but it get you get that way and I'm really feeling is because after standing tall, fighting everything that's coming at you, trying to be resilient, you hit that breaking point because it's a lot. It's a lot that you're enduring in that cycle. And you're, you're, you are, I feel like you definitely are trying to really like face a lot of things. And it always takes that one thing, right? That That's like, uh, boom, and it hits you at the wrong time, all the time, and you break. But... The key is to always to get back up again, to keep standing strong, to keep no matter how much comes at you, you got to still keep fighting. This person beat the fuck up, literally, <laughs> but that can be exhausting. So one of the things that seem to be a challenge or I don't want to say a challenge is, is your root chakra. So your root chakra gets unbalanced. So definitely put some energy work in, okay? So that you can get grounded. When you're starting to feel not safe in your situation, first thing you need to think about is let me ground myself. Look, the world card. This it keeps coming out. You're ready. You're ready for your efforts to pay off. That's just what it is. You're ready for a more fulfilling life, relationships, and everything. Okay? This is about completion. Tell me about the world card. Mm hmm And it's and what's not paying off is this situation you got going on. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Whoever you're trying to collaborate with, it's like either they're not learning from their mistakes or there's a lack of respect or however, or they just prefer to do their journey alone. It's a lack of cohesion between you and this person, okay? It's like y'all not sharing the same goals. Look, Queen of Wands comes out. So you may be the Queen of Wands or this person may be. It's like the Queen of Wands literally is very goal-orientated, okay? And... They bring solutions to their problems. They're manifesting. The, and this is their focus. And it feels like this is what you're doing. It's like your focus here is literally on that. You have this appreciation for your life. You take charge, right? Or this person does. But there's still a need for love. It's like even though you're sitting there, you're sitting pretty. Okay. A lot of you may be influencers. Um definitely in the public's eye in some kind of way manifesting the hell out of your goals but when it comes to this area of your life it's just like you may feel like look what what am i doing wrong here where's the imbalance so where is that my spirit team what's what is happening why is it so many delays in my collective's love life burden ten of wands what is burdening my collective <clears throat> The sun in the reverse and the nine of swords. So something is blocking your happiness. It's like it's hard for you to stay positive when it comes to this area of your life, right? In order for relationships to blossom and people come together, it, it requires optimism. It requires you to really put in that work, right? And um, there could be some unrealistic expectations, for real, somebody may even get bored quickly, you know, or take love for granted, and and that's what ends up happening. Then the, you, then what? You get a bunch of trials and tribulations, right? But the Ace of Swords comes in a reverse beside that, and because of that, that's where the confusion steps in. So instead of taking certain baby steps or communicating and things like that, you or this person may get blocked in their intuition about it. Okay, instead of dealing with it. Um, and really trying to honestly solve the problems and open up 
bam, someone in your story shuts down. And what's happening is like, this is a time where you're supposed to be starting something new. Like I keep seeing the Phoenix card. This is a whole new phase. This is a this is about your transformation and about you growing and you changing your mind. But again, when it comes to your intuition in this area of your life, then boom, you get a block. But it has a lot to do with here with that nine of swords coming out. Whatever it is that your mind is telling you, you know, that ego sets in, that fear sets in, the anxiety sets in, negative thoughts set in. Okay, you got to listen to your higher self when it comes to this. But it's hard to listen to your higher self if you're here in the wounded warrior energy, the nine of swords energy. Losing sleep. So what's blocking... What is it? What is the root? What is the root of the block? What is the root of the block? Eight of Swords next to the Four of Pentacles reverse. So someone basically feels trapped or feel restricted. That's where it's coming from. You know how you feel like your hands are tied and you can't move forward because you got too many responsibilities you're holding on to too much pain from the past or however usually negative thinking that's what it is that's what keeps people stuck okay so it's more like it could be you that could be keeping yourself stuck instead of being clear in your mind and facing your problems your fears your truths and releasing the past or releasing certain people out of your life and uh clearing your mind from that you allow yourself to stay stuck this is mental this is mental. Damn. And it's time to like really release it here with the four of pentacles and the reverse. This is the time to overcome all of that. This is about releasing past lovers, relationships, situations, habits, mindsets, so that you'll be able to move on without being hindered by those past wounds. Okay, so where's these unrealistic expectations coming in? The death card. So you may have some unrealistic expectations about the endings, about letting go, period. So this is literally like an emotional dynamic that you keep being stuck in over and over again. So when it comes to the point of releasing and letting people go or situations go, boom, you start to feel, un you start to feel unsafe. And what I'm hearing is abandonment. What's my time? 1753. Y'all oh, just dropped all the cards on the floor and I wanted to use them. Hold on one second. <laughs> Somebody is anxious or, or something is happening because I'm starting to feel jittery. Okay, it's something that's getting ready to come through and you may not be prepared for it. But brace yourself, okay? Because um, this is necessary for you to be able to move forward. I've, I'm hearing like, what's being revealed to you is to help you. Show me what I need to see. Deception. I'm just going to breathe through the book just a little bit to, to see. And I'm a full tarot really to see, you know, exactly what it is that my spirit team is saying. But, um, yeah, you, you're definitely caught up in a web of lies of deceit. Okay. So it's about truth being revealed. And that's what's happening. It's a lot of things that are coming to the light here about the deception that's happening around you. And this is me speaking intuitively. And I just seen 1919 on the clock. Okay. So... All may look calm and serene from where you are standing, but wait till the truth comes out and it will. And that's what's been happening. The truth has been coming out. Um, for then it will be too late for any clever, clever words, trickery or playing the blame game. No one is immune to telling the odd fib or two. However, when a life is built on deception and fabrication, well, that's another thing entirely. 
Somebody's life is literally built on lies. You got to be honest with yourself first and foremost, then look to unravel the web and face the music. Medea comes to you now as a warning. Her back turned to you to hide her grief, her shame and horror of what a life built on half truths and smoke and mirrors has led to. Do you really want to run the risk of being left isolated forever, staring into the abyss at what might have been? You are having the wool pulled over your eyes. Honestly, honesty will be the best policy, okay? No matter what it is, if you're applying for a new job, be honest. No matter what it is, your integrity is important. And with that Knight of Swords energy that came out earlier, that person lacks integrity, okay? So speak up even if you think you are alone and others will support you. Be thorough. Be very thorough, okay? It says be thorough with paperwork. Don't sign anything until you're absolutely sure. So just make sure, you know, double check any everything because it's a lot of deception. It's a lot of lies that is going on around you. And this is something that Spirit wanted you to be open to see. You may have been literally wearing a blindfold to it. It's what I just heard. So... Tell me about the deception. What you're feeling inside is it's for a re it's happening for a reason. Your body is responding. Your body is responding to trauma. Your body is responding to the energy. Tell me what I need to see about the deception. The world card comes in a reverse. There's a lack of closure because of it. Tell me about that. This isn't why you aren't, this isn't why, I can't say it right though, but this is why you aren't seeing your efforts pay off. So the emperor comes out next to the queen of swords reverse and then a nine of cups. So when it comes to, you know, being stable, um, being disciplined. And what I'm pulling here, wow. Wow. It's someone in your story that's really toxic. Queen of Swords reverse. This is a time where you have to set your emotions to the side and start to view things differently with clarity, logic, and honesty. Being very straightforward in your communication and everything. Um, with that emperor energy, again, that's what the emperor does. Sets, sits there. They're very structured. They don't show emotion. They go after their goal. Bam. You understand? And that's what it requires. They're very straightforward. They operate in that emperor energy, that king status. And when it comes to having your wish fulfillment, honey, you got to set your emotions to the side. And you have to think of these things with clarity and logic, logic so that you can be able to manifest here. And being overly emotional as the queen of swords reverse is, that's where the block begins to come in at. Okay, so let me pull on here this emperor real quick. <clears throat> Close that. I don't know if it's messing with my... Tell me about the emperor. Tell me about the emperor. The hang one. Yeah, this is about perspective. Changing your perspective. Okay, find a new perspective here. Four cups in a reverse. Yeah. Because this is a period of awakening. This is literally the time for you or this person to freaking wake up. This is a wake up call for a masculine energy. It's time to wake up. You've been living in a lie, in a, a life or a web of deception and lies. It's like your life is built on these lies. It's time to remove the mask is what I'm hearing. Show me what I need to see here. For the Queen of Swords reverse. The lovers. So this could be somebody here that you are intimately tied to. Or it could be a friend, someone you have a strong bond with. Okay. Um, tell me more about the lovers. Partnerships. But it's about making healthy choices 
at the end of the day, the lovers literally means making a healthy choice that is best for your situation here. Page of Pentacles up, right? Okay. And what I'm seeing here is like when it's like when it comes to what it is that you are trying to manifest your goals and things, it's gonna be some type of news is gonna come to you or, or that's connected to these goals, okay? But you're motivated to begin the process. You're motivated to get things going is what I'm seeing. So show me what I need to see. But whoever you're connected to, okay, or this could be you again, like they're exploring the ideas, but they're not ready to manifest them. Show me what I need to see. The star card comes out. Okay. So definitely make sure you stay optimistic here. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's like you could be really sitting here waiting for progress and it's not making you feel safe. It's it's a lot, like I said, it's a lot of deception going on. And sometimes the Queen of Swords in the reverse energy, you can get kind of triggered. Like shit, fuck kind of triggered. Like you can get triggered and then you end up being very brutally honest. Um, very, very uh the way you speak, you know, sometimes you can get upset, right? <laughs> You'd be like, you know what? You start cussing people out. You know what? Fuck uh, you. Da, da, da. Right. Instead of being very assertive, very direct. Um, yeah, somebody is definitely off balance. Okay. Um, in this story, right? I don't know if it's you, if it's your person here or somebody that your person is connected to. Because I'm pulling in third party type energy too on top of that. But in you're hopeful like somebody's hopeful somebody is like really hoping like okay things are going to progress things are going to move forward with this person this knight of wands in the in reverse look at that i didn't even see the six of pentacles behind that whoever this is in that knight of wands reverse energy they're non-committal they're in and out okay playboy type energy they don't commit they it's always one-sided relationships Okay, they never fully give, and I feel like it's even with down to their emotions is what I'm hearing. Never fully giving um, to balance out the connections, and you may be really like this person is your happiness. You're happy. You're you're trying to stay positive. You're trying to stay optimistic about this because again, this situation is a part of your wish fulfillment. You may even think, oh, this is my person. So you're 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 enduring a lot, trying to stay resilient, hoping that this person will come around, right? Hoping that things will pick up. Tell me about the eight of wands. Yeah, Empress in a reverse energy, five of wands, and the hermit. But there's a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of delays. It's a lot of conflict. You may even be feeling insecure. You may even feel like, hey, I can't, I'm not going to, I can't, I can't uh, manifest this. Or there could be the fact that a matter with this third party situation is a mother figure coming in that operates as the Empress reverse. Okay. They could be somebody that is in this story that lacks that self-awareness or, or very, they have look they have trouble maintaining relationships and all could be like a baby mother a mother figure however i just heard aunt um but however it's a lot of conflict it's a lot of competition surrounding this a lot everything that's taking place here in your story is external here with the hermit card coming out withdraw your energy and, and go within it's, it's time for you to do some soul searching honey so that you can find the answers within get still even if that means you know shutting off your your computer your phone take some time to yourself and go into hermit mode because five of swords comes out it's a lot of conflict You may even feel defeated by this conflict. I don't even feel like you are even feeling resilient anymore. At this point, it's just like, forget it. Like, it's no point. It's getting me nowhere. It's like you're talking yourself in a circle. It's like you're chasing your tail in the wind, literally. 
no matter what you do, you're not, you may feel like you're not winning. You may feel like you're losing no matter what you do. You're not, you know, it's not getting anywhere. It's like you end up fighting at the expense of each other. Like literally somebody could be having some type of conflict here when it comes to whoever this inference in the reverse. And it could be a lot of internal conflict around that situation, internal and external conflict. And I do feel like somebody is at this point where they're defeated from the situations that are taking place in their life. It's a lot of deception. Everybody is fighting for the same thing. They're nine of cups. Yeah, uh, somebody likes you. This person likes you. You like them. I don't know. Date. I feel like it's you may have quite a few suitors. Yeah, you may be meeting someone new. Someone may be coming in, a man. Okay, so if you like men, date men. That's what I'm pulling in. Somebody may be, yeah, getting back out there. Okay, I feel yeah, somebody is gonna plan or set some type of date with you. Um they like you. Okay, so it's your ish is look, you got free will. <laughs> but however, girl talk and the photograph. Okay. So even though you may be thinking and, and having a you know, you're in your head, this may be like in this nostalgia moment, really thinking, having these memories here looking through old photos, right? It's about Let me pull on that because I can't I can't get I can't get it to come out. It's not like it's it's like here. You ever have this feeling where it's like everything is here. It's bottled up here. I don't know what this is. Someone feels it's probably completely heartbroken. Okay? So, but spend some time with your friends. Because you have to literally live in your moment, which is in your now, okay? If you're single, you got to be happily single. So get back out there is what I'm hearing. Date. You want your Ten of Pentacles. You're looking for, you know, so many things that take place in your life when it comes to your goals. Um, get back out there. Enjoy your singleness. Have fun. But don't uh, don't stay stuck. Life is always continually moving forward. Tell me about this girl talk. It's constant. You can't stay stuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk to your people to help you, to help you move on. So, will this situation go anywhere? <clears throat> Two of swords came out in a reverse. The four of pentacles in the reverse and the nine of pentacles in the reverse position y'all this person is very worried about you know or you could be very guarded and very worried about giving up your independence but a decision is going to be made is what i'm pulling in let me see something here let me get these cards back in I guess they want me to use them. Like, hold on. <laughs> Tell me about the four swords reverse. Trickery. Damn. 
<laughs> it's still deception. Mm -hmm. because yep look at that this king of wands is not going to this person is not going to uh they're holding on to two people they're not going to come in as a king of wands up, upright their king of wands reverse again non-committal this person runs from commitment they're very unstable in relationships i'm gonna show you it's trickery like they're literally gonna still operate in that energy here four pentacles upright next to the queen of pentacles next to the queen of cups and the lovers in the reverse mother figure whoever this is is still holding on to two feminine energies and that's where the imbalance comes in okay so and then the last card was the king of wands this person has been living a lie and what I'm hearing they have been being deceptive to both people why Knight of Swords energy because they're scattered in their thinking they lack direction could be impulsive okay and come out as knight of swords reverse energy yeah when it comes to having any type of goals or or recognizing you know you or this other person or um Mm hmm they have no intentions the knight of pentacles in the reverse position the world card and the knight of cups in the reverse this person neglects they'd rather be alone basically they'd rather be alone yep that's what it is they're full of empty promises They have their own particular goals that they want to be working on. It's they rather be alone. And everything that has really transpired here in your story is because of the lies and the deceit. What do you want my collector to do? And it said move on, right? Spend some time with your friends. Talk to your friends about this. Make new memories. Get out there and date. What do you want? my collector to do anything else don't dwell on the loss because you got things to do yep three of pentacles connect with people who share the same goals as you all right peace